guys, I'm Layla. So today we have a showcase for Harima, a beast of a champion. Holy cow, for sure. She's amazing. So what we're going to do is I actually have her in a couple different builds today. We have from US that we have from Bronze. So we're going to be showcasing her in some different builds, some different gear. She's going to be in Arena, I believe Hydra, yeah, Hydra, and Clan Buff. So we're definitely going to have some fun with her. So first up is we are going to show her in Arena. And this is US's Harima. So you are going to see here that she is in four pieces of defiance that's two sets right and then we also have a set of crit damage and as you guys like to see piece by piece we have the crit damage weapon is speed and crit damage and crit rates and also you're gonna see he does have some ascensions on these weapons too so we have defense the helmet does have hp on it we have speed crit rate crit damage for the shield again there's an ascension for hp we have crit rate crit damage and some speed Crit damage gauntlets along with the defense percent. And then we do have crit rate on there. It's some attack. Okay, chest piece is defense 60% with accuracy. And then we do have some crit rate. And then for feats, we have speed, defense percent, crit rate, and crit damage. Just has some standard accessories here with the banner being defense and speed. And then for the stats, we have our 43,000 HP. We have 1,800 attack, 5,700 defense. Her speed's at 203. She is crit capped with 276% on the crit damage, 179 resistance, and 164 on the accuracy. Now, you are going to notice this Harima does have a blessing as well, too. So the blessing is going to be Soul Reap, which is cool. It's like this is the one where the Reaper shows up. I actually have this one on my Rotos. It's fun. And for her masteries, we have her down the defense and the offense. So we don't see behind me is methodical, kill streak, and helm smasher is her T6. Okay, and then we have helm smasher as the T6. So what we're gonna do, let's go take her into arena. All right, guys, here we are in Arena. So you're going to see he actually has two teams. Now, US does like to make anti hedgy you know, Tormund teams, which you're going to see here. But the main team we are going to be using here is going to be Kaimar, Sifi, Yumeko, and Harima. Must be nice to have Yumeko. And then the other one here, the anti hedgy Tormund, is going to be a Cardial, Sifi, Harima, and a Yumeko, or Layla Meko, as my chat likes to call her. So let's check out the presets on this. Kaimar, we have the removing buffs in sleep and then reset. Siffy, we do have the Love Beyond Death, which is going to be increased attack and crit rate. Whirlwind Romance is going to be blocking the debuffs, increased defense and speed. Layla Mako, Dance of Time, reset. So we got reset, reset, right? And then Miss Harima, Celestial Oz, and AoE Provoke. And then Purgative Punishment hits three times, decreases the target's defense, and it keeps stacking, right? Also increases her defense as well. So let's play. Let's play. Oh, this is a fun comment for the day. Layla, if you weren't really weird, I don't think I'd be here. Okay. <laughs> if we weren't all crazy and weird, we wouldn't be here as much as we are. That is true. Now, that was fast. That was 12 seconds. Look at Harima, 235. Holy cow. 235. You go, girl. All right, let's go. Gosh, you guys on YouTube, Twitch chats like, Layla, we like you. You're weird. We like you. Thank you. You know, there's a Dr. Seuss. There's a Dr. Seuss saying that I love and I have it. I think I have it in the channel here. If you guys just type weird, right? There. Uh, no? Weird? Can I not spell weird? There it is. All right. So the Dr. Seuss quote that I love is, we're all a little weird and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and follow mutual weirdness and call it love. Now, what's fun about that is, you know, there's different types of love, right? Look at Harima 205. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic love. Like, obviously, you can love your best friends. You could love your family, your kids. And then, of course, you know, there is romantic love is weird as well, too, right? So that's what I like about that. Such a good quote. Okay. I don't think we're going to come across. Like, if there was Torment Hedgies, we probably could play against that. All right. So, US says there's a Mordu comp he wants to play against. So, we'll go do that. 
Mac, thank you for the follow. Love it. You gotta love it, guys. All right. All right, so US wants to play against this team here. Mortal Cob? Mordu Corn Cob? Ultimate Death Knight, Duchess, Necrit, and Mordu. Now, what's fun with this too is Harima. Oh, we got a sheep! <laughs> I I literally stopped everything I was saying and I just I admired I admired the sheep. <laughs> yes, we have quad stone skin going on, right? We got quad stone skin. That's bad. <laughs> Twitch chat. Those of you guys watching YouTube, we're doing this live on Twitch, and you know Twitch. Uh, Twitch has a really good sense of humor. That's why they're here, right? If you guys didn't have a good sense of humor, you wouldn't be here with me. Clearly. There we go. Kaimar is no longer a sheep. All right, what I was going to say with Harima is I believe that she... Oh, no! Harima got sheeped. I was going to say that she's she's stronger against demon spawn, too, isn't she? And both Mordu and Duchess are demon. You wish that Harima's Provoke went through stone skin? Yeah, that would be something, huh? You guys, I love an Ultimate Death Knight Frolics. Look at that. Ultimate Death Knight with the sneezes. Mortal's Peril cannot block, revive, kill a champ with a sheep debuff. That is very true. Okay. You wish there was a wolf blessing that countered sheep? That would be kind of cool, huh? Nice. That is one tanky duchess. We knew that. That's definitely one tanky duchess. Okay. All right, there we go. The animations are really neat as well too. And is there anybody else here we really want to play with? I don't know, I guess we could like play with these guys. Play with the Necrit RB Warlord Brotato. Yeah, that was slow and steady. Slow and steady and uh, we won that. Love that. And then as usual guys, I'll take her in campaign so you guys can see her animations. Man, I just, I need myself a Layla Mecco. Like it's, 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 it's a travesty that I don't have her. She's my champ and I don't have her. It's a travesty. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear, I swear. Now all that's left is Brotato. Look at that. So again, like we're seeing, she is just a monster in the arena, right? All right, guys, so this is the other part of our showcase is we have this Harima from Bront. Remember I told you I have two people that built Harima completely different comps for different areas of the game. Now, Bront also streams on Twitch, so I'm gonna have his link down below. Make sure you toss him a follow. So here is Harima, and you're gonna see that she is built differently than US's Harima. So what we are going to do with this one is we are gonna take her to some arena as well, but we're also gonna take her to Clan Boss and Hydra. US loves arena, so he focuses a lot on arena. This one, yeah, you guys are gonna see she's built very differently than US had. This one, she's in Savage, and then we do have some crit damage pieces as well too. So let's check out her stats. Is we do have accuracy, crit hey, look at that quad crit damage quad crit damage on that weapon that is like made for her that is something savage we have crit damage and crit rate on the shield we have crit rate crit damage and some speed look at that to her gloves we have a full ascension on the gloves too yeah that's spicy twitch chat's like oh that's spicy defense 20 percent. so we have crit rate and speed 
The chess piece is defense percent. We do have an ascension of resistance. We do have speed, crit damage, and crit rate. And then the feet are going to be defense percent with attack percent, speed, crit rate, and defense as well. Standard accessories here. And then we're going to see is we have some defense and speed. So let's take a look at her stats. Her stats is we have almost 37,000 HP, 1,900 attack, 6,900 defense. Close, right? 173 on the speed. She's crit capped with 289% crit damage, 133 on the resistance, and 126 on the accuracy. She has Polly! Yes! My chat knows we love sheep in this channel, right? Sheep! <laughs> sheep and goats, right? So, Broad gave her Polly. I love it. Absolutely love it. And let's check out her masteries. Masteries, defense and offense. Same thing as we had seen with the previous Harima with Helm Smasher being her T6. All right, guys. So we are going to take her in arena first. Then we're going to go over into the bosses, right? Hey, Wolf, thank you so much for gifting us some to NT. Now it's nice as Bronze says Sheep gives her bonus defense at level two. So let's go take her to the arena. All right, guys, here we are in arena and you are going to see that Bron actually has three teams for her. Is we have Speed Demon, <laughs> the Sheepening. <laughs> I swear, I think these guys just make the names for these teams in my, in my favor, right? And then we have the Dragon Counter. So for this one, we are going to do the Speed Demon and it's going to be Prince Chimer, Siffy, Valk, and Harima. So Prince Chimer, we are going to have remove buffs, right? And the Snooze. Siffy, we're going to leave her alone, Valk alone, and then Harima, we're going to have her do a purgative punishment, which hits three times, decreases defense. All right, and we're going to be up against Siffy, Mordu, Tormund, and Mithrella. Let's go. Let's play. All right, so we got double stone skin here. Oh, look at that. Took out Siffy like she wasn't even there. Smooth like butter. Herma Rector. Good grief. Herma. Spicy girl. Man. All right. Yeah, that's fine with Tormund. We, uh, we got Mithrala here. So Mithrala will be down in a minute. <laughs> Wowza. Yeah, I mean, we know he pops back up. That's fine. And you got to love the counterattacks, too, from Valk. Mithral is just such a cool looking champ, too. There we go. All right, how did she do? 263,000. Love it, love it, love it. All right, and then the other comp that we were going to do that <laughs> Brought wanted you guys to see was we're going to play over here. So for this one, he wants to bring in the dragon counter which has Pythion, as you're going to see here too. Yeah, so Twitch chat saying is usually in arena this high up. People usually make really like tanky Siffies and Harima just like went through her like a knife through butter, like she wasn't even there. So Siffy we're leaving alone, Pythion we're leaving alone. Everybody is alone except Harima is we're going to have her do her purgative punishment three times. So we're going to be up against, we got Warlord, we have Pumbaa Pig, Mighty Uko. We have Ursuga and then Mordukorkum. Let's play. Now, Pythion. Pythion's the newer champ too, guys. I'm curious how many of you guys got him. He was the, the Fragment Fusion. I think he was such a good champ. Definitely worth it if... Oh, we got... Sh Look at that. Yay. We sheeped our Suga. We sheeped our Suga. I love it. There's the sheep, you guys. That's the sheepening. Though this one isn't the sheepening, huh? But I mean, he's still going to love the sheepening, right? <laughs> hi anomalous hi guys if you're just tuning in we are doing a showcase for harima all right working on uko doing the same thing i did in the last one working on the revivers the last one we took down siffy first here we are working on taking out puma pig that brings me such joy seeing sheeps it just does guys it just does so joyful. All right. 
But yeah, so I was saying with Pythion, Pythion I think was the most recent Fragment Fusion. Fragment Fusion champ, right? Definitely, you know, worth it. I went for him for sure. I would love to know if you guys did as well. Slow and steady here, guys. Slow and steady. Okay. Ooh, she be running out of health. Ah, oh, sheep! <laughs> Siffy. Okay, Siffy was sheeped, but she came back. Siffy's okay, guys. Siffy was sheeped, but she came back. No, Harima! Wake up, Harima! Get up, girl! Get up! Get up. Come on, Siffy. Get our girl back. There we go. Pick up our girl. All right. Very nice. Hi, Zaxi. Well, Pytheon's a support. Pytheon isn't exactly damage. Pytheon is a support champ. Enchilada, I love your name. Enchilada Gaming. Yeah, keeping Mordu in check. It's very nice. Mordu hasn't been too spicy yet. Because you guys know Mordu could be a pain in the butt. Hyper, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, Twitch chat's commenting how peril hasn't happened yet. Right. He's been kept in check for sure. All right, Uko. Come on, let's get that Uko down. Yeah, Warlord's being super annoying right now. Okay. Harama could tank through the peril. All right. Come on. Take that pig down. There we go. Good job. All right. Warlord's being really annoying. Oh, sheep. I love it. Urzuka sheeped again. Yes. I love seeing these sheeps. Thank you so much for putting sheep as the blessing. So, I mean, guys, obviously we're gonna win. It's just, it's slow. <laughs> slow and steady. Okay. Do you guys see the sheep dancing? Okay, Ursuga's back. Ursuga must have just said, bat. <laughs> love it. Yeah, so guys, I mean, we got it. It's just, it's it's slow, slow and steady, slow-mo, slow-mo. Sheep nerf is coming soon. Shh. <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't say that. And all that's left is an Ursuga. There we go. Hama, almost half a million damage. Almost half a million damage. That is crazy. All right, guys, here we are. We're an Ultra Nightmare clan boss. You're going to see the team is we have Elva, Lydia, Harima. We have Ninja and Valkyrie. So let's check out the presets we have here for the clan boss. Is for Elva, we have Scepter of Thriving, which is going to be doing continuous heal. And then we have Nature's Path, which removes all debuffs from allies, block debuffs, and increases speed. Lydia, Siren's Whale, which is the decreased defense, weakened strength, but also has increased speed as well. And then Nullification's Poison Sensitivity. Harama, we're going to have to do Purgative Punishment, which hits the three times, decreases the target's defense, and increases her defense as well. Ninja, we're leaving him alone. And then Valk, we're going to do Stand Firm, which is a shield and counterattack. Now, Braun wants to point out that this team is not speed tuned. Not speed tuned. So... In my Twitch channel right now is we have a prediction going on on whether we're going to be able to one key or two key this. This happens to be magic affinity. So those of you guys watching on YouTube, feel free to drop a comment on what do you think is going to happen. And what we'll do too is because a lot of times these runs take a little while is I will we'll speed up a little bit and we'll get to the end and we'll see how they did and we'll see how much damage that she did. Especially, you know, we have her. So we have Harima and Ninja here as the damage dealers, right? So it'll be fun to see how much damage they do. All right, guys. So we see we're back and we see that Ninja, Ninja is down. We're at boss turn 17. 
Boss turn 17, 24 mil. So again, it's gonna be interesting to see if we can actually one key this with the team. We do have everybody else up as well. But yeah, Ninja is down and we're at 25. So again, we're at Ultra Nightmare, guys, which means we want 70. 70 mil, I think, right? So we'll be back again and see where we end up at. All right, guys, well, this is not going to be a one key because as you see, we're back. We actually have, we have three champs that have dropped. We have Ninja, Elva, and Lydia all dropped. There goes Valkyrie. And Harima is the last one standing, last one standing. So we made it to turn 26, we did 34 mil. So considering that, I don't know. I don't even know if we will end up getting a two key. It's gonna be really close because if we do that again, we'd be at 68, which still wouldn't meet the 70. But even at that, I mean, look at the damage here, right? Is we have 11 mil and then 16 mil for our damage dealers, which is really, really good. Right on target to a two key, close, close. Cause here's the thing is you need 70 mil, right? To get the top chest. And so if we double that, I mean, we're still only at like 68 ish. So it's going to be close. Like it'll be interesting if we can get the two key possibly, but that is Harima in the clan boss. And again, like we already know that she's really, really great to have in there as well. All right, next we're going to go head over into the Hydra. All right, guys, for this, we're going to be doing Hydra hard. And you're going to see we have Venus, Harima, Vizix, Ugo, Siffy, and then we have Inquisitor, Shamal. So let's take a look and see what some of the presets are looking like. Venus has no presets. Harima, again, we're having her kind of focus on her purgative punishment, which hits three times, decreases target's defense, and increases her defense. Ugo, we're leaving her alone. Vizix, we're having her on her single combat, which is AoE, Shields, Provoke. Siffy leaving her alone, and then Shamal alone as is. Now, this will be auto. This will be auto. Other than the usual of, you know, focusing on Hydra heads, we'll have to do that. But other than that, this will be auto. And what's nice here to me, we do have, we have two very, very good support revivers here, right? We have Ugo and we have Siffy. Vizix, again, great for the provokes, right? We're gonna love her for the provokes there. We do have Venus, Harima, and then Shamal in there for the damage as well, so that'll be great. And we know Venus, you know, be coming in hard with, you know, the poisons and the weekend and all that as well too. So very, very nice team. Curious to see how much damage we can do here. And so curious to see how much Harima can do. Because that's kind of the idea is every time she uses A3, she just keeps like building up and building up and building up, right? Just really, really good. And if you guys have her, you know, I'd love to know how you guys are liking her. You know, what concert you're using her in. You know, what are you guys thinking of her so far? And as usual with these Hydra boss runs, we will fast forward a little bit. That way you guys don't have to sit and wait. And Harima is going to be the first one to be snacked on. All right, Harima has been scooped up. We should not have a problem getting her back. What's been nice is, I mean, they've been doing a really good job just taking these heads down. Like we do have this head of mischief is gonna drop anytime now as well too. We're at turn 25, already eight mil. And so we want to one key this, which they should have no problem one keying. And that's gonna be a little over 20 mil. They should have no issue. We just have to get our Harima back. If you know they would focus over here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Boss turns 75, 19.9 mil. And there it is, the 20 mil. So again, we, we pretty much knew that this was going to one key Hydra hard pretty easily. And they've been doing, like I said, overall, they've just been doing a really, really good job taking down these heads. We've been targeting the heads as they go. But yes, yeah, so already we one keyed this. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep going and we're going to see, you know, what their total damage is and how Harima does in total. So I will see you guys soon. All right, guys, we're at turn 102. You see that we have Siffy and Venus are the last ones standing 26 mil with most likely Venus gonna be the last, yeah, there we go. Venus is gonna be the last one. And there it is, there it is. All right, Hydra Hard, 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes. And we have Harima with almost 11 million damage. 11 million damage, look at that. Ugo, 
you know, two, but she was support. Venus did seven and a half, and then Inquisitor Shamal did two, one. Vizix doing three, four. So very interesting. We kind of knew that, you know, with, with Venus and the poison, the weekends and stuff, that she definitely would be doing some damage there as well, too. So she came up second DPS there, Harima being 10, nine. So guys, leave some comments down below on, you know, if you have Harima, where you're using her. And Brat and US, thank you both so very much for letting us showcase Harima, I mean, she's an awesome champ. She's something I don't have. Thank you guys so much for watching.